Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea and this is going to be my monthly wrap up or what I read in the month of April. Couple things I want to say first. I'm sorry for the quality of this video, it's filmed on my webcam. There's a dog downstairs that may or not start howling. Here's my baby, he's so cute. I just want to share with you the books that I read in April. This is also going to be kind of a Dewey's 24 hour readathon wrap up because I'm going to share the book that I finished during that time. Let's go ahead and get started. These are all books that I've mentioned on my channel a lot, so that's why I kind of want to do this quickly. So the first book that I read in April was Crank by Ellen Hopkins, which is a big, you know, I, I read it for the Tom Temple Readathon, written in poetry. I gave this book three out of five stars. It was one of those that I just, I liked it, but I didn't love it, and I didn't hate it. I kind of feel indifferent to it. It's kind of just like one of those I read and kind of forgot about it because I feel like a lot of it was very hit or miss, like the writing itself. Some of the poems were very beautiful, but then there were some poems that were like a child writing a story in poetry. And also I feel like it was a very just stereotypical, predictable drug story. Um, it did have some nice like mood aspects to it, I think, but overall, just I feel kind of indifferent to it. I gave it three out of five stars. And I still have to write a review for that. I have, like wrote it and I have to edit it still. So then the second book that I read in April was The Secret Language of Star Signs Decoding the Hidden Language of Astrology by Jane Struthers, which I have been working on for a while, even though it's like a simple book to read. I finished this finally during the Dewey's 24 hour readathon. It's the only book I finished. I did read another book during that time, but this was the only one I finished because while well, it was good information, I definitely feel like there were certain signs focused more on the negative. So I feel like there wasn't enough balance between all of that. I could be biased because my sign focused more on the negative. Either way, three out of five stars. And now I know a lot more about the signs. Um, like the fact that uh, Aquarius is pretty much like no one really knows what's going on. So finally, the last book I read, Raven Flight by Juliette Morellier. I've been talking about this for a while. This is the second book in the Shadowfell trilogy, a YA fantasy. And this book was so good. I gave it four to five stars only because the beginning bit was kind of slow and I mean it's understandable because you have to kind of recap the last book but kept thinking about should I not read it should I just put it down for now man it got so good there were parts that were so like heartbreaking and touching and I teared up a couple times like even knowing like th that this book exists and that a writer wrote such an incredible thing is so great like I feel like I don't see this type of YA fantasy around very much I can't wait to read the third one and I'm definitely going to be doing a review on all three of these books in the series I'll do a video review so I can tell you more about them in incredible I thought the first book was really good this book wow so these were all the books that I read in April. Only three, but three, man. Like, finally, I read three books in a month and I've reached, I went past the two mark. So those were the books that I read in April. Let me know what you read. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next. Bye.